Last week, Rance went down to St. Augustine and he learned a lot about the Lincolnville area and the African American influence in that community. And then he kept peeling that onion <laughs> to learn more and more and more and find out more about the history. Yeah, and that community is coming together tonight and tomorrow for a jazz fest to raise money to make sure that history and the Lincolnville Museum are preserved for future generations. It's a godsend, you know, because as time goes by, a lot of things are forgotten, you know? So it's a good place to um, substantiate and verify all the memories and accomplishments of a uh, life in a village like this. It's what it was. They say it takes a village to raise a child. Uh, Lincolnville was a village, you know? That is Lincolnville native and jazz musician Doug Karn speaking about the importance of the Lincolnville Museum and Cultural Center. He talks growing up in that village. Oh man, it was a wonderful place to grow up, you know? I look back now at the whole thing and uh, the way that they, uh, uh, you know, uh, in gentrification and all that has come in, you know, but um, we weren't deprived, man, you know? You know, when I first went to college, they tried to tell me, so you know, you was deprived. I said, why was I deprived? You know, my parents had education, you know. We had a house, we had a car, we had a telephone, you know. We had talent, we had a Steinway in the house, you know. It wasn't a brand new baby grand, but it was a Steinway. I had a full point average, man. How am I deprived, you know? The area had everything the community needed with doctors, lawyers, stores, and restaurants, which allowed them to be self-contained and the community continued to evolve until integration. Lincolnville has maintained its identity, but... It was damaged, you know, it was um, stymied, it was stifled, you know. And uh, now there's not a lot of people that remember, you know, you know, the excitement that, you know, and the, and the fun and the, and the tragedies and the drama too, you know. People might not remember the major music acts that once rolled through St. Augustine and influenced Doug's passion for music. Jackie Wilson came through here, James Brown, Lil Richard. A lot of people before my time came too. I'm just telling you the ones that came during my time, they would be on Washington Street. Of course, I couldn't go and see them, but I knew that they were there. And, uh, sometimes my parents would take me down there and we could park in the car outside or park on the street and hear them, you know? But the biggest thing, man, was Ray Charles. I'm sitting there in the chair, eight years old, my feet can hardly hit the floor. And this is the baddest stuff I heard yet, you know? But I didn't know that I was listening to Ray Charles's school, the techniques and methods that he developed, you know? Doug talks about the first Lincolnville festivals. Every year, doing homecoming for the high school, off of Florida Normal Memorial College. It was a black college that was here. When they would have their homecoming parade, have five or six bands, you know, from local black high schools, you know. Every now and then we would get a college band like Edward Waters or somewhere, you know. And they would have a parade celebrating homecoming, right? And when they would have that parade, it would start out there, but it would come through Lincolnville and would end right here you know, right by that oak tree out front, right? This weekend's Jazz Festival is the first annual of the Doug Karn series, and it will cover 100 years of jazz. While it focuses on the history of that style and its influences on St. Augustine, it's also about... Man, it's about us having a good time <laughs> and let the people celebrate, you know? You know, that's what it's about, you know? I'm Rance Adams for River City Live. So Doug had so much history. I, I got an idea for a documentary, I think. But, oh, absolutely. Uh, oh, yeah. But uh, you want to make your way down to the Lincoln Phil Jazz Festival and know that you will groove in your seat. All the proceeds go back to preserving the Lincolnville Museum, so it's a great cause, going to be a great time. It's tonight, tomorrow at brunch, and tomorrow night. I like the disclaimer. Warning, you will be grooving in your seat. <laughs> Get the information on our website, rivercitylivetv.com. Stick around. More River City Live coming up right after this.